Saint John of Damascus, Christian saint. Saint John of Damascus, also called Saint John Damascene in Latin. Yeah, uh, Johannes or Johannes Damas Damascenus. <clears throat> Born circa 675, Damascus died December 4th, 749, near Jerusalem. Eastern and Western feast days are on December 4th. He's an Eastern monk and theological doctor of the Greek and Latin churches, whose treatises on the veneration of sacred images placed him in the forefront of the 8th century iconoclastic controversy, and whose theological synthesis made him a preeminent intermediary intermediary between Greek and medieval Latin culture. John of Damascus su succeeded his father as one of the Muslim caliph's tax officials. And while still a government minister, he wrote three discourses on sacred images, circa 730, defending their veneration against the Byzantine emperor Leo III and the iconoclasts. The iconoclasts obtained a condemnation of John at the Council of Hyria in 754. That was reversed at the Second Council of Nicaea in 787. Soon after, 730, John became a monk at Mar Saba near Jerusalem, and there passed the rest of his life studying, writing, and preaching, acquiring the name the Golden Orator. <clears throat> Greek is uh, Christo. Chrysoras, literally the golden stream. <clears throat> Among his approximately 150 written works, the most significant is the Pei Nosios, the source of knowledge, a synthesis of Christian philosophy doctrine, a synthesis of Christian philosophy and doctrine that was influential in directing the course of medieval Latin thought, and that became the principal textbook of Greek Orthodox theology. Revised circa 743. It is composed of three parts, the philosophical, dialectica, drawing largely from the late third centrally Neoplatonist <clears throat> Por Porphyry's Isa Isagogue, an introduction to the logic of Aristotle, the, his here, the historical transcribing sections from 4th century Greek churchman's Epihamius' work, Panarion on Heresies, and theological and most widely known segment, the exposition, ecthesis of the Orthodox faith. Essentially, a resume of the 4th century Cappadocian fathers, Saints Basil, Gregory of Nazanesus, and Gregory of Nyssa, and expressed in Aristotelian vocabulary and manifests some distinctive originality in John's choice of text and annotations reflecting Antiochian analytical theology. Though its translation into Oriental language and Latin, the exposition served both Eastern and Western thinkers not only as a source of logical and theological concepts, but also by its systematic style as a model for subsequent theological synthesis composed by medieval scholastics. The exposition speculates on the nature of existence of God, providing points of contention for later theologians. Elsewhere, the exposition analyzes the nature of free choice and the will. The author was sensitive to this question in light of the Christian doctrine on personal responsibility for salvation. He described the human will as a rational appetite or inclination to the good, functioning with regard to ends or goals rather than with means, which relate more to the intellect. In God, there is will but no deliberation. A counterpart to the source of knowledge is John's anthology of moral exhortations, the sacred parallels, called from biblical texts and from writings of the church fathers. Among his literary works are several intricately structured canons or hymns of, for the Greek liturgy. Although his reputation in liturgical poetry rests largely in his revision 
of the Eastern Church's hymnal, the Acto Ecos.